Good day guys, MF West here and today's video is going to be about Blizzard basically giving us feedback from what we've given them, the Unholy DK community, about our spec, just small things that we want changed and their response, as well as two major changes in our talent tree. So let's get into the first part of the video about discussing Blizzard's feedback and you guys are going to like what I have to say. So the first thing that um, everyone, well first thing they addressed is Gargoyle. Now people were very angry about them not giving us an, an option to have Valkyr as a, a way to change the Gargoyle to look, make it look like a Valkyr. People like the Valkyrie, people like how it looked, the class fantasy of it, and I have to agree, like you can't just get rid of one of our coolest models that we have at our disposal. Hint, hint, uh, Blizzard give us more options. Um, so they basically responded by saying, you'll be able to go to your class trainer and ebb on hold, and just, you know, have a little chat, and he'll give you a glyph to change the form of your gargoyle to a Valkyrie. So, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Blizzard. Round of applause to Blizzard. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, uh, the next thing I talk about is Corpse Explosion. Now, as you guys know, this is one of our passive talents that we have in our artifacts, where all our ghouls basically explode after a certain amount of time. Now, they basically come out and said, yeah, we kind of messed up by making that a talent. We're changing it. Thank you, because it is the most like redundant talent in our tree, and there's no reason to make that a talent. So thank you very much for looking at that. Uh, next thing is All Will Serve. Now, the community has said this entire expansion, and now they're saying it in BFA, that All Will Serve is just useless. Like we don't, It's not a very strong talent. The thing is with All Will Serve, though, at the beginning of an expansion, so Emerald Nightmare, for example, it was very strong. As a baseline ability, when we have a very low item level and not many stats, it's very strong. And if you guys remember, that was our go-to talent in the first row for Emerald Nightmare. But when you start getting gear, it's just not even an option to look at. And visually, it looks pretty stupid. Like, it's a freaking skeleton with a bow. Come on, Blizzard, let's like use some of the other undead models that Unholy has to offer. There's so many options we can choose from. Let me know in the comments below what you think our All Serve sh minion should look like. Now, they've come out and said that they're actually going to look into this, and they are definitely looking at changing it. It's too lackluster. Now, the next thing, guys, I am very excited to tell you is that they have introduced a talent that will effectively reduce the cooldown of Army of the Dead by 5 seconds and a pop by 1 second on Death Coil casts. They think that reducing the cooldown of Army of the Dead to about a 4 or 5 minute CD is going to give Unholy a much better feel and I cannot agree more. What does that mean? Reducing the CD of Army of the Dead in Apocalypse. It means we're going to have ghouls around us a lot more, which is what Unholy is meant to be, guys. Summoning ghouls them giving us buffs and whatnot, and them dying, and yeah, so that's the circle of life for Unholy, I guess. That is awesome. Now, I'm going to show you guys, and come back to these like, these questions and answers, I'm just going to clearly show you guys our talent tree right now, because these changes have been implemented on the beta, and for those of you that don't know, I have been given a beta key, so I have access, I just need to find the time to do that. Um, during my exams coming up, but we'll do, we'll do it, guys. So, this is our current talent tree right now, guys. So, same, the first row and stuff is the same. Uh, nothing's changed here, nothing's changed here. Boom, first thing that has been changed, which I was going to get to, but let's get to it now, is debilitating, uh, sorry. Okay, wait, sorry. Group of the Dead. So, debilitating infestation was on this row, but it's gone. Now, they actually have this thing called grip of the dead. So death and decay reduces the movement speed of enemies within its area by 90%, decaying by 10 seconds, 10% 10 every second. So for Mythic Plus, this could be handy for kiting. Um, they've kind of just put debilitating infestation into death and decay. I don't know how I feel about this, but I can definitely see some use to, I, I can see how it's going to be useful. This will most likely be our go-to talent in Mythic Plus in terms of like affixes such as Grievous tanks trying to drop stacks. I mean, a 90% slow is pretty. That's pretty handy. So we'll see how we use this, guys. Um, nothing's changed in the next row. There is this, on the last, the second last row, Pestilence. Your Death and Decay damage has a 10% chance to apply a festering wound to the enemy. Very interesting and possibly a viable option for us in Mythic Plus and raiding. Very interesting. Um, in Arena, I just don't think... Uh, popping Death and Decay in Arena is a bit, a bit silly though, but we'll see. 
I think that's a very interesting option. And here it comes, guys. Army of the Dam. They've actually used the Apocalypse model for it. And here we go. Death Call reduces the, cool the cooldown of Apocalypse by one second. And Army of the Dead by five. So that is going to purely come down to seeing if it's DPS loss to actually take this or using our OPOP OP gargoyle. Very interesting. It's going to be tempting to take four to five minute cooldowns on Army of the Dead, guys. But... Let's see how that turns out. Uh, next thing, like I told you, Depilitating Devastation is another talent that I never pictured in the expansion. They basically just say, like, yeah, we've changed it to this, and we'll see how it plays out. The next thing is, everyone running, even running ICMP, PS and Pustles, uh, I still feel like is we have too much downtime. I have to disagree. I think Sudden Doom proc gives the spec... Like, we're always doing something. I find that there are specs that are much worse than Unholy in terms of its downtime and I think we all have always have something to do as Unholy if it's like you know micromanaging our pet in arena or just trying to time our abilities and our rotation very well in raids. Um, but basically they said we'll be continuing to tune resources including ruining corruption chance as needed. Uh, worth nothing is just that we add some proc normalization to ruining corruption. Generally not a bad idea to rain in periods of resource droughts and floods. I really don't think it's that bad but hey they responded to that. And another concern is the file. This guy basically says, I saw this post earlier on, uh, I think last week. He's basically saying that the file is literally doing better damage on single target than our other talents. And that's a bit weird. So they said, yeah, Defile should definitely not be your talent to use for single target. And we'll be tuning that and fixing that. So, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't followed me on social media, guys, check me out at MFWestWow on Facebook and Twitter. I basically just give you all my thoughts on Holy and what's going on before I make videos about it. And you can just discuss and ask me questions with whatever you need. So thank you very much for watching guys. Stand holy and there's plenty more news to come. Stay tuned. Peace out. Have a good one guys.